Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer, and today we are taking a look at the Kuat NV 2.0 platform style 2 bike bike rack on a 2022 Acura MDX. Now the Kuat NV is definitely one of the more aesthetically pleasing bike racks in my personal opinion. And not only is it available in this awesome looking graphite gray here, but you also have a metallic black and a matte black. So if you want to match the color of your Acura, you can do that. As a rider myself, a lot of times when looking at bike racks, people ask me, what do you recommend? And really there's just kind of a few different segues you can go, at least in a hitch style. And that's gonna be your hanging style, which you've probably seen where it folds up and your bike kind of sits on the frame and you strap those in place. And they do a pretty fine job of transporting your bike. The other one is gonna be your platform style. Now this is my preferred method because it really does give a really strong hold on the bike. You don't have to worry about it swaying, making contact with your vehicle, or if you have multiple bikes loaded up, making contact with the other bike. Now, as you can tell from the get-go, this has a lot of nice, beautiful features with the orange anodizing, the beautiful graphite gray, but also the features really, really work well on this. And that's because you have wheel mounts here. So another thing with platform style is you're gonna have potentially a frame mount, which attaches to your frame. And it kind of limits, especially if you have a carbon frame bike, because that can actually damage and warp it if your frame is carbon. The wheel mount though can really adapt to just about every bike. And the way it does that is it simply clamps on your tire here and that's nice because you don't have to worry about it scratching any of your paint there's really no risk of that and also you can see where the tire sits in this cradle is holding it really really tight I can't even spin the tire but barely and on the back side you actually have a wheel strap so that side is strapped down so between the two of those if I try to move the bike there's not a whole lot of wiggle there Another awesome feature of this bike rack is the tilting feature. And this is something that I overlooked when shopping for bike racks until I was in a position where I had to use the tilt feature. And you may be asking, what does that mean? Well, if you went out for a ride and you had to pick up some groceries, or maybe you just want to access the things in the rear of your trunk, you can't do that with the bike in place. But with the simple turn of this handle here, you can see this tilts down. The bike is not going to go anywhere and you can still gain access to your rear hatch. So if you want to get your helmet and your gloves or whatever you need to ride, your water bottles, you can grab that, put it all on, close this back up, and your bike is still going to be here. You don't have to lean it against your car or a tree or whatever is around. And then whenever you're ready to, you can simply put this back. Very easy. Also the touch points on the handle and just the overall feel of it are extremely high quality. So when you are all geared up and ready to ride, taking your bike off is also extremely easy. So you can start by taking this little strap off here, which is gonna be just the push of this button. You can feed that out. And then on the front here, our wheel, wheel hold, you just push this in and this extends out. It actually drops down. And as you can tell, there's really no hindrance, nothing bumping in the way for you to just grab your bike and hit the trail. So as you can see on the tire cradle here, it's actually got separate grooves and that's gonna be great because if you have a road bike, you're gonna fit in there nice and tight. You have a slight, maybe a hybrid or a gravel bike that can also fit in here. Mountain bikes, it's also gonna fit well. Now this can hold up to 60 pounds per bike. So you can get a large bike on here and you can actually convert this with parts sold separately to go up to a five inch wide tire. Now in this configuration, you can go up to three inches, which is gonna cover a lot of your mountain bikes and pretty much anything with a slightly more narrow tire than that. So you're gonna cover pretty much everything you need, carbon bike, your, e-bikes if they're under 60 your fat tire if you want to get the adapter so this is something that you can use for a long time with any variety of bicycle something else that you really don't think about until you have your bike out and about and in the real world is locking it in place and you can always buy a cable to lock it or this has the ability with integrated locks to actually pull this out strap this around your bike and know that it's not gonna go anywhere. And they have those on both platforms here. It's all gonna use the same key system. And that's also gonna work on your nice little lock on your hitch pin there. 
And even the hitch pin lock is really nice. It's got a little rubber coating to protect it from long-term exposure in the elements. Now with the platform style in this position, we're gonna measure it from the furthest point of the vehicle here to the furthest point on the rack. And that's gonna be 33 inches. So it does add quite a bit to the vehicle. So if you are planning on parking in your garage and you're not used to having your bike rack on, obviously take that into account so you're not bumping into things. Now, we'll also measure here from furthest point of the vehicle to the closest point on the bike rack, it's gonna be 10 inches. So that's gonna be great if you have a bike with some larger platform style pedals that might stick out, that should keep it from making contact with your vehicle. And also your wider handlebars, especially on this MDX, should be just fine here. You're not gonna have any issues with that. Now, it does add a lot to it as far as length, but another awesome feature about this is when not in use, it actually tilts up. So that will change it to about 16 inches. So about half of that now. So not only do you have a great platform style, but also it gets nice and close to the vehicle without it causing any interference issues and sticking out too much. Now doing maintenance on your bike can be tricky. If you're out on the trail and you need to make some quick adjustments, I've had to actually just lean my bike against my car or work on it on the ground and it can be frustrating. This is a really, really nice touch on this. With this little latch open, you can actually extend this out, close this back up. You can open this and put your frame in there, clamp it down, and now you have a mobile bike stand. That way you can work on your bike wherever you take your bike rack with you. Even with no bikes attached, this folded up this graphite gunmetal color here with the orange anodizing looks awesome even when you don't have bikes on it. And so it really does stand out even on the road. And I've noticed other bikers tend to kind of go with the Kuat as their end all be all and long term bike rack. So let's look at just a few more things that you might find interesting on this. This knob here is an anti rattle device. So with the turn of this knob, no hardware needed, you can, this will extend a ball that's inside of your receiver tube opening. What that does is it actually expands out and it's gonna take the rattle out and that way the bike rack is stable. So as I move this, the vehicle itself is moving with the bike rack. You hear no slop, no clacking around. And uh, that's gonna be really nice when you're driving around. You don't have to hear clack, 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 clack every time you hit a bump. So really nice, the fact that you don't need tools, simple turn feels really good. It's nice rubber coating. So awesome added feature there. Now, if you have an MDX, you have third row seating. So it's very possible that you have family members or other riders going along with you to the trails. That's a great thing. This is just a two bike platform, but you have the ability to add on to make this a four bike. So you can take the family along with you. So when you go with the NV, you're going to be the envy of other bike riders, but also you can have the whole family go along with you and this bike rack will grow as your family grows. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that was a look at the Kuat NV 2.0 on a 2022 Acura MDX. Thanks for watching.